Hi, boys and girls. Let's finish our spooky houses today. The word of the day is silhouette. A silhouette is a solid, dark shape seen against a light background. So to create our silhouette, you're going to take your coffee filter and place it on your drawing that's in your sketchbook. You should be able to see right through it. If you need to, you can use a tiny little piece of tape at the top, and I'm talking really tiny, tiny piece of tape at the bottom to hold it in place. When it's right where you want it, then you're going to start tracing all of the lines that are on your drawing. So when everything is traced, then it's time to start filling it in and completing the silhouette. See all these lines that are on the inside of the shape? Those lines will all get covered. They will all disappear when they are covered with black. So I have three sizes of Sharpies, large, medium, and small. So you use whatever marker you think is appropriate to fill in your silhouette. The large markers, it's easy to get sloppy with them around the edges. So on the outside edges of all of your shapes, think about neatness, think about making the drawing smooth and neat and tidy. <laughs> So the last and final step is to add whatever details you can to make your drawing as interesting as possible. It might be spider webs, it might be fences, it might be some tombstones, it might be bats in the sky, whatever you can think of to fill in those empty spaces and give them some interest. Make sure you have tidied up all of your lines as much as you can, making them as neat as possible. So the last and final step will be to carefully take the tape and take your drawing off of your sketchbook. It's going to leave behind some black marks in your sketchbook, but that's okay because the coffee filter is the actual art project. Carefully, carefully, carefully peel off the tape. If you need to make any touch-ups, do that, and I'm going to frame it for you. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.